All right, y'all, so we're still in the middle of the first leg of this. Again, we're going all the way out to the 27th of this month. So I talked about we're going to keep track of the, the stats because, again, the guy Jesus was based on was a scientist, right? Um, scientists, a true scientist, does not limit where they search for truth, including within themselves, right? So the whole idea of this exercise is to bring this into the forefront, start a conversation. It's either true or false, black or white. Let's just, let's just keep it simple, okay? And let's have a discussion. Let's talk about these things openly and honestly and not be identified with our belief systems that we were brought up with. Anyway, this is the graph right here. You see we went down and we're starting to trend up a little bit. I just did a video about the five things that the quote unquote real Jesus would say, right? And we'll get into that. Uh, and then after this, we're going to let it post for a little bit. And then we're going to do a live because I want to get some feedback. This just can't be me talking on one end. Uh, I'm willing to take this to the extreme obviously but um it just can't be one person talking this is an interactive thing it, we all have to take responsibility for what's happening in this reality but anyway this is the um current reality we're on we see our spirituality is going down our technology is going up and we're at this point now where we're going to have to make a decision the whole intent of raising the consciousness is that we can have our spirituality start to take an uptick and we can make better decisions with the technology and not have the technology rule over us, but have the technology be an ally to assist us in our evolution, right? That's the whole intent of it. And again, the um, exercise is to be a mirror and not a picture, right? A mirror shows your reflection, a picture shows you what they think uh, certain things look like. So what are the five things that the real Jesus would say about the, uh, the Bible? One, the Bible is the word of man and not God, okay? Paper trail, you can look at it, go for it. Number two, Jesus was nobody special. He was a man born of mother, father, and son, just like your part of the Trinity, mother, father, and child, okay? That's number one, two, and three. Number four, a God of love doesn't make a hell to punish his children. If you love your kids, how much of you have, how many of you parents have actively created places to torture your kids forever um, for things that they've done wrong in this lifetime, right? And you wouldn't do that because you love your kids. So if you don't want to do that to your kids, why would God want to do that to his creation? And you're made in God's image and you are God's. So that's what the real Jesus would tell you now. A lot of people are identified with the fake one because they want to be saved. They don't want to take responsibility because no one can save you but you. The only thing that we can do is expose you to the idea of uh, the belief that you need saving and show you the errors in that and really empower you to save yourself from the mass uh, hypnosis that's been going on with this Bible. So there you have it. We're going to go live in a little bit and give me some questions.